Guys, now we're going to learn how I can navigate between screens, because it's normal for a hum to have several screens. I'm going to have an alarm screen, a screen to analyze graphics, a screen to see the process. So let's go. First thing here in screens, I'm going to leave this screen here as it is. I'm going to add a new screen, okay? This new screen I'm going to call Trends Trends, but for me to navigate, I'm going to change the name of this screen also to Home Guys. After adding the screen here Trends, what do we need to do? I need a button that will fire a, uh, that I'm going to hold an event on this button that will trigger an action that is to change screens, right? As I created my HM here with the template ready, we will use this template itself. So I come here in Screen Management, Templates, Template 1 down here has these buttons, right? So I'm going to use this third button here to switch between the screens, okay? So I click on it here. I'm going to open the properties for this button. Within the button's properties, I'm going to select the graphic mode so that little icon appears here, okay? So these two icons that are already here I put in this part, okay? But first I'm going to select here the image that I'm going to use. The image I'm going to use is here in this folder. The NCC graphics folder, navigate and operate, NCC gray 36 by 30 here I'm going to select the trend icon which is this little graphic. So I click on it here, Properties. Here the following appears. What is the graph that will appear when the button is not pressed? So, I'm going to select now here. Let's take that logo that I just put on the screen there, which is Graphic 5. Okay. Let's also put the button here when not, when pressed. I want the same icon to appear. I go back to the screen now. Let's see that the icon is already showing here, right? Let's do the following. Now I'm going to put the event that will be fired. So here in personal event, there are some actions that the user will perform to trigger a certain event. Cert. What are these events? It could be click, it could be pressing the button, releasing the button, changing the button. Don't. So here in this case we are going to use the click, right? So when I click I want an action to be performed. What will this action be? I want there to be a screen swap. So I'm going to select here. See that there are several actions that can be performed from the click event. But we want there to be a screen change. So I come here in screen, I want to activate a screen. Beauty. I selected this action. What screen do I want triggered when I press that button? I want the trend screen to be triggered. So I select it here. Beauty. Here the home screen comes by default, okay? It already comes by default for him to send it to the home page. Propagna home. But it's in the release event here, so when I release the button it will go back to the home screen. Okay, let's test it so we can see if it works. So I'm on the home screen. If I press my trend button here, I go to the trend screen. But look at the problem it generated here. My icon menu is only appearing on the home screen, so we have to put that menu here to appear on all screens. Guys, for these buttons to appear on all screens, I need to do the following step. I come here to the screen I just created. Trends, I double click. Let's go to the properties of this screen. Let's run. All right, so I go to the home screen. I go to the trend screen. So now I already have a navigation menu between screens. Beauty.